The sales continue as we roll into summer. In today's episode, we'll highlight a bunch of great games that you can pick up right now to keep you cool through the warm months. Then, as always, we'll recap some games that are still on sale from last week. And it's giveaway time, so good luck to you all. Hey everyone, I'm JP and this is Good Talk HQ. If you're new here, we'd love to welcome you to the family. We cover mostly Nintendo Switch games and we even live stream with our community to show off some of the great games and spend a little time with everyone. And if you've been here before, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with us again today and your continued support means the world to us. And real quick, before we get started, please take a moment and check out these awesome banners that were made by one of our viewers and friends, Zion Cool 100. He made for us and Jeff over at the Indie Gaming Guild. Thanks, Zion. These are awesome. All right, folks, and I'm really excited about today's episode because we get to do another giveaway. So let's jump right into this list. All right, and we'll start off today's list with 3000 Duel. This is a single player action adventure title from publisher Neo Popcorn and will take players roughly 12 hours or so to wrap up. Players will explore a huge interconnected world with more than 300 biomes to explore and more than 150 different enemy types, including the bosses. This is at its core a metroidvania, but one thing I will say are the controls just don't feel as tight as something like Blasphemous or Hollow Knight and the combat is a little bit slower. But the story is dark and does enough to keep you engaged throughout the entire runtime. If you want a solid metroidvania with decent upgrade systems and a solid story, make sure to grab this one up before July 22nd mark down 60% to just $5.99. Alright next up we have the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection for $19.99. This is a collection of massive single-player action-adventure titles from Ubisoft, offering more than 50 hours of gameplay. The collection includes fan favorite Black Flag and Rogue with all of the DLC included for both titles as well. This is a great value when you can find it on sale. Black Flag was the game that introduced the naval combat systems, and Rogue allowed us to play as a Templar for the first time in franchise history. Now this version even included some specific features to the Switch like HD rumble, motion controls, and the ability to touch the screen for certain commands or actions. If you're a fan of the series or open world 3D adventure titles, make sure to grab this one up before July 22nd, mark down 50% to just $19.99. Also while you're there, make sure to check out Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered for $15.99 until July 22nd as well for 60% off. Alright and next up we have the Aquatic Adventure of The Last Human for $3.89. This is an underwater single player adventure title from publisher Digirati offering a main campaign that will last players roughly 5 hours or so. Now this is classified as a metroidvania but only in the most minor way. Some areas are progression gated but to me it felt more like a boss rush type game personally. You spend a lot of time exploring somewhat empty areas while avoiding environmental hazards until you get to the next boss. Now the bosses are amazing. They can be a bit challenging but by the end of the game it never felt unfair. The game looks and sounds great on the Switch with the music being a particular highlight for us. Right now it's currently on sale for just $3.89 until July 15th marked down 70%. Alright and next up we have Child of Light for $4.99. This is a 2D action RPG once again from Ubisoft and this time available for one or two players in local co-op offering a story that will take players roughly 10 or 15 hours to complete. Players assume the role of a young princess on her journey to save her kingdom and perhaps even more importantly her dying father. The game features a turn-based combat system and several different upgrade paths you can take adding to the replayability of the game big time. Along the way you'll also uncover powerful gems that will be used to unlock new abilities and upgrade your character as well. Once again this game looks gorgeous on the Switch and is definitely worth checking out while it's on sale until July 22nd. It's currently marked down 75% to just $4.99 or you could also consider the bundle with Valiant Hearts as it's also a great deal and currently on sale for just a couple dollars more. Alright next up we have For the King for $8.49. This is a tabletop style strategy RPG from publisher Curve Digital designed for either solo play or up to 3 players in either online or local co-op and it has a main story that will take more than 30 hours to complete. This is a unique blend of strategy turn based combat and roguelike elements with each of the games varying a bit due to almost everything about each run being procedurally generated including the map layout, the quest you find and the special events that happen as you reach certain spots in the game. The Switch version also includes all of the previously released DLC and makes it an excellent value for fans of either RPGs or these tabletop strategy games. Right now For the King is currently on sale until July 23rd for just $8.49 marked down 66%. Next up we have Fury Unleashed for $8.99. This is an action platformer from publisher Awesome Games available for one or two players in local co-op and offers a main story that would take players roughly 10 or 12 hours to complete. Players will blast their way through the pages of an ever-changing comic book in this fast-paced roguelike. 
Each run, you'll upgrade your character and your weapons to increase your effectiveness for the subsequent runs. This game really is all about the shoot 'em up action, and it delivers plenty of that to keep you engaged, as you try to uncover why your creator has given up on you. The comic book art style and intense soundtrack are top notch, and this game is highly recommended. If you're interested in Fury Unleashed, make sure to grab it up before July 30th for just $8.99, marked down 55%. Alright, next up we have Green Hell for $12.49. This is a single player adventure survival sim from publisher Forever Entertainment and will take players around 20 to 25 hours to complete. Now this is an unforgivingly realistic survival game that will see players dying over and over again as they learn what they can eat or drink and what they have to craft to keep themselves alive in this brutal environment. We wake up in the Amazon and must find a way to survive. You'll have to craft bandages and medicines, makeshift tools, and of course find food and water that are safe to consume. Each death will teach you a new lesson, and believe me, there will be plenty of deaths, so don't let it frustrate you. Eventually, you'll master the crafting and combat systems and be unstoppable. Make sure to grab Green Hell up before July 15th while on sale for just $12.49, marked down 50%. Next up, we have Hot Shot Racing for $6.79. This is a retro-inspired racer from Curve Digital and offers unlimited hours of fun for either solo players or up to 8 players online and 4 players in local co-op. This is an insanely fast racer with a retro aesthetic that reminded me of Daytona USA from the Saturn days. Now the game plays and runs much better of course, just overall the look of the game immediately took me back. The game offers 16 different circuits to choose from and there was recently a patch that added new game modes such as the Grand Prix and a few other freebies as well. The most fun game mode for us personally was the Drive or Explode, which like the movie sees players having to maintain a certain speed or they'll explode. If you're looking for a solid racer on the Switch, make sure to check this one out before the sale ends on July 23rd, marked down 66% to just $679. Next up, we have Immortals Phoenix Rising The Gold Edition for $39.99. This is a single player 3D action adventure title from Ubisoft and offers more than 40 hours of main story gameplay. Now, this game is of course always compared to Breath of the Wild and with good reason. They both share some of the same mechanics and features, such as a massive open world fully explorable with the right amount of stamina of course quest and side quest, light and heavy attacks, etc. Where the game sets itself apart though is the story. I found the story to be much more engaging and entertaining than Breath of the Wild, and this version includes all of the DLC as well. And really, if you're wanting this game, now is the best time to look into getting it, because it's normally $99.99, and right now the complete bundle is on sale for 60% off, just $39.99 until July 22nd. Alright, next up we have Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix for $19.99. This is of course a kart racer in a similar vein to something like Mario Kart or Sonic Team Racing, and this one was published by Game Mill, offers local co-op for up to 4 players, and an online mode which increases that limit to 8 players. Now this sequel features more racers, more tracks, more power-ups, and just more fun overall, and the included online mode was something that was sorely missed in the first title. Now I know this is blasphemous to recommend anything other than Mario Kart, but I think it's a solid kart racer and the game features more than 100 Nickelodeon characters to choose from, 28 tracks, 2 boss arenas, so there might be some fun to have here for a wide variety of people. So if you like kart racers and you want an alternative to Mario Kart, make sure to grab this one up before July 29th, marked down 50% to just $19.99. Alright and next up, of course, Mario Plus Rabbids Gold Edition for $19.99. This is a strategy RPG from Ubisoft available for one or two players in local co-op with a main story that would take players more than 30 hours to complete. This is a mix of two amazing franchises balled into one amazing game. For me this is a must buy even at full price but on sale it's an amazing value. You play as a group of Mario characters and rabbit characters in an XCOM style strategy RPG featuring turn based combats, an upgrade system to your weapons and gear, and loads of secrets and unlockables to find. I love the way the game is presented and how you traverse between the areas, and the home base even has a few secrets to be found as well. If you haven't played this one yet, and you're a fan of XCOM style games or of course either of the two main franchises here, make sure to check it out before July 22nd as it's currently on sale for just $14.99 marked down 75%. Alright next up we have Out Buddies DX for $7.19. This is a retro style action platformer from Head Up Games and offers local co-op for two players with a main story that will take roughly 10 or 15 hours to complete. This is a Metroidvania which takes place 36,000 feet under sea. We assume the role of an adventurer who was in a shipwreck and wakes up in a sunken city. The atmosphere and music are absolutely fantastic here. The music even intensifies while being chased by an enemy which makes for some tense moments when you're near death. I also found the pixel art to be absolutely gorgeous once again here on the Switch. 
Once you clear the first boss, the game stops holding your hand and it's easy to get lost, so keep that in mind. But if you're looking for a solid retro-style Metroidvania, make sure to check this one out before July 21st for just $7.19, marked down 60%. Alright, next up we have Rayman Legends Definitive Edition for $9.99. This is one of the best 2D platformers available on the Switch. This one comes to us once again from Ubisoft and offers local co-op for up to 4 players. Now like I said, this is a great platformer, featuring great controls, great music, and amazing visuals. But I like that the game also essentially has two planes that you can move along, like the foreground and the background, and you can bounce between the two in certain areas or spots during the level. Each of the levels are accessed by jumping into pictures, something like you would see in Mario 64. And while some are just standard platformers, others will have specific missions to save or rescue certain characters and then they become playable characters. This is one of the premium platformers available on the Switch and if you haven't played it, make sure you check it out before July 22nd as it's just $9.99 marked down 75%. Alright, next up we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game complete edition for $9.74. This is a beat em up game for one or four players in both local or online co-op. This one comes to us from publisher Ubisoft and offers roughly 5-10 to 10 hours of gameplay in the main campaign. This is one of the most fun beat em ups on the Switch and we love it at the channel. The animation and soundtrack are top notch and this edition once again includes all of the DLC as well. The unique comic book style animation inspired by the movie really do look gorgeous on the Switch. If you're a fan of beat em ups, this one is truly top quality and definitely gets a seal of approval at the channel. Please make sure if this is your style of game, grab it up as part of the sale before July 22nd, mark down 35% to just $9.74. Next up we have Summer and Mar for $10.99. This is a single player farming sim adventure title that was originally backed on Kickstarter and promised to be a cross between Stardew Valley and Wind Waker, and for the most part it delivers on that promise. Most farming sims require that you pretty much put your life on hold in order to maintain whatever tasks or quests are going on. Thankfully, Summer and Mara has done away with this mechanic and opted for a more peaceful and relaxing experience. We play as Koa, a young girl who sets out on an adventure across the vast open ocean to uncover whatever secrets she can find. The main story, while it does enough to push you forward, it really does take a backseat to the exploration and island building. The world is bright and the animations are smooth, with a soundtrack that is easy to get lost in. It may not be the best game in the genre, but it definitely is a fun time. Make sure to check this one out before July 26th, mark down 56% to just $10.99. Next up we have Velocity 2X for $4.99. This is a single player title from publisher Curve Digital and blends two genres into one great game. Part of the game is played as a vertical shoot 'em up while the other is a side scrolling platformer. We play as a young female protagonist who is captured by an alien race and has been altered with cybernetic modifications. After being set free, we'll use her unique talents to take on those who imprisoned us. The game is fast and frantic with an amazing soundtrack, a vibrant atmosphere, and over 50 levels that progressively increase in challenge and speed. With ranked leaderboards and the addictive nature of high score type games, there's plenty of replayability here. You can grab this one up on sale until July 23rd for $4.99, marked down 75%. Alright, next up we have Human Fall Flat for $7.99. This was a game that was recommended to us by Christina over at Casual Passion. Hi Christina, thanks for the recommendation. This is a cool puzzle platformer from Curve Digital and is available for up to 8 players online or 2 players in local co-op. Now this is a lighthearted physics based platformer that lets players do whatever they can think of to solve or sabotage each level. It's hard not to laugh or smile when playing this game as the animations are just so goofy and charming. Watching the random mayhem that can unfold is a truly fun time. And with online modes available, it makes for a great choice for those who are away from friends or family and looking for a fun game to play with others. We've been laughing so hard at this game. Thanks again, Christina. If you want a truly joyful time with friends, make sure to grab this one up before July 23rd while it's still on sale for just $7.99, marked down 60%. Alright folks, and here are some series sales still going on from the previous weeks. Alright, and here are a few more games that are still on sale from previous episodes or previous weeks. Alright folks, and now it's giveaway time. Here we go. Good luck to everyone. So what we're going to do is put in our numbers here like we always do. Alright, we'll go one. So 171, 48, Daniel, 
All right, gift. Congratulations. Hit me up on my email, okay? Okay, folks, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and we'll wish you an even better week. Thank you all for sticking with us these last few weeks or months. We've had a great time thus far, and we're extremely excited to see where we go next. Our community has grown to over 900. Thank you all so much. I really can't express my gratitude in words, but I'll try my best to continue to improve the channel and make this a fun place for all of us to hang out and talk about video games to make sure you'll always have a home here at headquarters. Thank you again. Please stay safe out there. Congrats to the winners and good luck to you all for the next one. All right, little man, take us on home. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.